Hello, I'm Rocco Lombardo, president at Wilson Daniels. I think we addressed portfolio and personnel immediately. Uh, it lacked a sense of community. Uh, Wilson Daniels was a company with a lot of history, dating back 40 years. It was important for us to reset time a bit, so we addressed the portfolio and personnel, and we addressed it on a bi-coastal format, setting up headquarters in both New York and the pre-existing headquarters in California. I mean, today we want to get closer to the market. Uh, we've started wholesale businesses in New York and New Jersey. The New York and New Jersey operation started in 2015. We're launching a wholesale business in Connecticut in October of 2018. So we want to continue to strengthen our direct footprint. We also want to continue to work on portfolio. We have a very strong portfolio from Western Europe, being Italy and France. Uh, our goal is to expand upon it within those countries, looking at Piemonte in Italy, looking at the Loire and Bordeaux, and then taking a look potentially at Spain as we move forward. I think the most important thing with a producer coming into our portfolio is for them to be themselves. Uh, it's important for them to communicate the soul and spirit about that family business. We only represent families. Um, it's the most important thing that we have that genuine approach to the marketplace. And when they communicate it on a very personal level, it gets delivered very well. So our goal is to make sure that we have producers that are committed to their message. I mean, sparkling and rosé is very strong. 40% of all our depletions are in the sparkling category today. If you take a look at Schramsberg, if you take a look at Bissol, Pierre Spar, um, Champagne Gosset. So the sparkling category is dynamic. Rosé is dynamic. Uh, we're very much invested in the Cote de Provence category with Chateau Gassier today. And I think there's a move to the, the super premium luxury category as well. So we're seeing a lot of dynamism in the luxury category. You know, for us, it's not to have a bias one way or the other. It's to find the most talented people, people that are committed to our message, and to work with it naturally. It's something that has to develop on its own. Um, if it's a female or a male, we're looking for the best person possible. If it's a producer or somebody that we're going to recruit and personnel. So it's something that happens naturally with our company. Four of our top seven level um, people within the organization are female, but it's something that has occurred naturally.